Yeah, I wrote about this right here with all of the, and with the, the key for me being the birds right there, but also the paintbrushes. And it's by uh, Leilani Bustamante, and it's called Lady War. I also love this painting right here. Me too. I thought that was, that was just right. So I'm going to read two poems. I'll read the, um, the one about that painting first. Uh, and so my working title is something like uh, On Remembering a Welsh Proverb in which a raven flying over a town portends the death of the local priest. And so it's about that painting. <laughs> Today I'm thinking of making something with my hands like a lament or a promise, something that can be cut in half and served with shaved, ba with shaved basil and a scalpel, even if neither rhyme. I mean, what does it matter to the tiny bacterium at the bottom of this drawer, which is to say that this life is a lot like a dog that won't stop barking. High whistle of death, move along. Nothing to see here but a dime behind the ear of denial. And really, most will say that never happened. Like landing on earth, like the little bird thorny in the tangles of sharp air. Tender are the tongues of babies. Tender are the dreams of robots. The prayers of furry field mice. The soft bullets of rain, but not the heart in its golden slippers, too small in the toe, but oh so lovely to behold in the blue blur of bird, lit in the rear view mirror of the sky, which is always moving in sync with the heartbeat of the girl on her bicycle, pedaling through the clouds, tiny sparrows circling around her head like a rotating crown, the house and its baby at bay below, the end is never far away at moments like this, and yet the sparrows seem to know nothing of any of this, of the strange bargain the living make with the dead, or the wing with the air. Fly, the beaks on the other side chirp to this one. Fly. So, almost exactly a year ago, uh, I was asked by the San Francisco Chronicle to write a poem about the Warriors going to the NBA championship against the Cavaliers. Um, and I was going to read it tonight, since we're here. And by the way, thank you so much for dissing your local uh, basketball team to come here. Um, but uh, I'm not going to read that poem. It's online. You can find it. Uh, the events in Orlando, I think, shook a lot of us, especially those of us in this city. And so I have this poem in my forthcoming book that Evan was um, nice enough to mention uh, that I wrote in response to the shootings at the African American Church in Charlotte. Do you remember that? Um, a year ago. One year. That's all it took. One year. Yeah, one year. One year. And in the poem, as you will, as you will see, I make... Um, a connection between that shooting and the discourse of terrorism. Um, and so I'm going to read that, this poem uh, tonight. So um, thank you to Modern Eden for hosting. This is a lovely space. I've never been here before. I, I'm excited to come back. Thanks to Evan. Um, I love Quiet Lightning. I did a reading in one of the early Quiet Lightning shows. It's still one of the cooler things I've done. And thanks to Tess and these fabulous poets whose work I love. Uh, and this is called um, Self-Portrait in Place. The news this morning said that Ramadi had fallen to ISIS and that the president did not have a plan to push them back into the Anbar province. Though I have a plan to ride my bicycle down to the beach where I will stand with my feet in the water, the temperature of most corpses, and look out over the shapeless ocean, its waves shifting from one color to the next. This moment, the shade of an old bruise. Toward Japan, 
which I imagine I see across the map of motion, that mystical country which has almost completely ridden itself of guns, like the one the boy used to shoot nine people assembled to worship a man whose skin, history tells us, was the same color as theirs. That mythical man who may have walked the streets of Ramadi in those missing years between his youth and his destiny, which is to say, who knows how many of the slain he raised in those streets or pulled up out of the night into the long daylight of the not yet lived, birthed back into the skin of suffering, or how many he dipped into the waters that emptied into the Gulf of Oman and walked on their tiny feet of waves into the Arabian Sea before making their way across the world to the South Carolina coast and into Charlotte before retreating to work their way back around to San Francisco on the far end of the other side of that mythical continent, perhaps even where I am standing, the water's color like a bullet. And I wonder if all life is somehow loaded into the chamber of a rifle, the long tunnel of darkness before us, our birthright, and even our destiny, all of it as close to the hammer as the width of these lines, themselves an inheritance of something I am only now beginning to understand, like an insurrection that no one saw, not even the people in it, not even the man with his hand on the trigger. Thank you. <laughs>